All right, what we have here on the bench is a pair of Sony MDR V6 headphones. So I got these from eBay and they were um, listed as being in working condition, but when I got them, the audio in the left ear didn't work. And I took them apart and I wasn't sure if that meant that the cable wasn't making a good connection or if the driver was dead. Uh, and it turns out the driver is dead, so if we use the multimeter here and test uh, from ground to the uh, input of the driver, uh, it's just open circuit. So I contacted the seller, I was ready to return them. Seller said, I'm just gonna refund you the money, you can keep them. So now I have a pair of Sony MDR V6s with only one working driver. So unfortunately, the genuine Sony drivers are not really economical to buy. They're about $50, and you can get a brand new pair of MDR 7506s, which is essentially the same headphone for, you know, $80. So I went ahead and ordered some Chinese uh, replacement drivers from AliExpress, and I've heard very mixed reviews about these. So... Uh, this is basically going to be an experiment to see if these are any good. So uh, I have tested both of these and let's see, what do we got here? Um, yeah, 65 ohms. I think these are similar to the original drivers. So let's install them and see if they work. All right, so my plan is I'm going to desolder the wires from the old broken driver and then solder in just one of the replacements and if that allows the headphones to produce sound in both ears, then I will go ahead and replace the other driver as well, the one that's working. So I figure it's going to be better to have matching drivers even if they are both the replacement. So, okay, I'm gonna go ahead and desolder this. All right, so I have everything kind of taped down here and I also screwed the uh, bracket back on just so it's out of the way. So first thing is I'm gonna try to wire up the connections to the left channel to this driver, which is going to be the new left driver. All right, so here goes nothing. All right, so presumably the soldering worked. So now we just have to get this uh, plastic retaining clip back on and that holds the driver in, in theory. All right, so yeah, there's the, the new replacement driver. This is the original driver that still works. So let me test these and see if we actually have working headphones at this point. All right, I have to say I am totally surprised the the driver works and I realize I don't have any ear pads on this yet, but it sounds fine. It sounds pretty much like the other driver. So I think I am going to replace the, the, the right driver as well, just so that they're matched. So let me do that and maybe we'll wind up with a working set of headphones. That would be pretty nice. All right, so I have everything put together again. I have replaced the ear pads. Everything works great. I think they sound pretty good. I can't really tell any difference between these and my MDR 7506s, so they, they sound just fine. Uh, the cable's in good condition. The plug makes a good connection. So yeah, I'd say that this was a successful repair. 
As to whether it's worthwhile, so I spent $19 on the replacement drivers from AliExpress, and I spent, I think, $9 for the replacement ear pads. So, you know, getting a basically completely working set of MDR V6s out of it, I'd say that's a pretty reasonable deal. So, all right, that's it for this video. So I will be returning at some point with more 8-bit computing content, but in the meantime, hope you're doing well, and I'll see you in the next video.